Musicians have jam sessions to create some of the best music. So why can't jam sessions happen in the classroom? Wait! Now they can! Jamboard allows teachers to create a jam the students can join instantaneously. Studies show that students need to think outside the box and come up with solutions to real-world problems. Everyone contributes, collaborates, and interacts to make the jam go beyond the basic whiteboard. Jamboard brings a jam session into the classroom to bring out the best ideas and thinking. The collaborative group brings new ideas, theories, and thinking beyond the classroom. Let's start jamming and see what Washington County Public Schools can do. I'll show you how to start the jam starting now. The teacher and the students will have to download the Jamboard app from Self Service. Once installed, open the app. Once in the Jamboard app, you're going to notice that you will be able to see jams that you've already created if you've created some. On the left, I've created several and it will show the dates. You'll be able to in the top right where it says last modified with the drop down arrow. If you click on the drop down arrow, it's going to be very similar to when you look in your drive. You can arrange them by name last modified, last modified by me, or last open by me. In the top left where it says Jamboard, you're going to be able to see that you can see who's signed on. This is helpful especially if you have multiple accounts. You'll want to make sure that you are in your WCPS account, uh, especially if you're trying to do multiple things with students and you want to use your drive. Also in the bottom right, you're going to notice that you have a plus sign. You can either join a jam or start a new jam. Once you give students a unique code, they're going to use join jam and you're going to use new jam. So for new jam, in the middle go on top of the page, you're going to be able to click left or right if you have multiple pages open. If you click on the squares that are in between those two arrows, you're going to see that you'll be able to add multiple pages. You can add as many pages as you want. The one that you're on will always be highlighted with this green box around it. You'll notice that if you click on the little box that has the lines, you're going to be able to see multiple different templates for the background. Once you choose one, you're going to be able to apply it to all of the pages by clicking apply to all. All pages, including the ones that you add later, will need to be added with the actual color in there. In the top right, you have two icons. You have the television icon. It's asking for nearby jam boards. That is not relevant to us as a county, but it is something to know that if you click on it, it won't do anything. Up in the right hand corner where the three dots are, if you click on that, you'll have rename. You can name your jam. You'll have remove, which will mean that you will delete it. Add people. You can add teachers or other helpers to your jam. And then share via jam code. If you click on that, that is going to be where you're going to turn on that little toggle switch that is grayed right now. You turn it on so that it is blue and a code will pop up in the bottom. It will say that jam code is going to expire a certain time, so give that to the students to be able to get on the jam. They will have the Jamboard app open, like I had shown you before, and let me just go back to show you that. So they will go back here to the plus sign, they will go to join jam, and they will actually add the jam code there. So if you go back to your jam, in the top right, the last one that, the last three, you have connect to meeting. That is something that you're not going to have to worry about. And the last two I'll go over once we are finished with our jam and we're ready to save it. The very bottom left has the back arrow and forward arrow. Those are for if you want to either delete something or go back from what you have done something. Sometimes I will tell you that this pen, when you're trying to move files around, it might actually make a line. You can always hit the back arrow and make that line go away. In the next video, we're going to show you how to use the toolbar that is on the left in the middle.